Are you ready to have takes, Mark? Make opinions? And get on the air and have people say, did you say that? And text you saying, hey. what's up? Are you ready for that? Are you ready? Hey, thanks. Thank, thankfully, I had a great coach at my broadcast boot camp in Rich Eisen uh, who prepared me for this life after football, uh, this yes. life of being an analyst on, on Big Noon Kickoff. So big shout-out to Rich. Big shout-out to everyone at the broadcast boot camp because they have prepared me for my, for my new job that I just took. Well, I'm glad you said that because I have been taking credit for you for about 10 years now, Mark. So <laughs> that can confirm that me taking credit for you. But I'm, I'm, I'm very happy to hear this. So that's that's what you're going to do. You're going to big noon kickoff. Charles, is Charles going to still be part of this too? You got yeah, that? So I think Charles. I think I think Charles is a part of it. Okay. Uh, okay. I think a couple a couple times a year. You know, what I mean, I don't mm-hmm. think it's every Saturday, but I think it's a few times a year that Charles uh, okay. joins us as a guest. Okay. So I'll I'll just throw it out here right now, Mark. I mean, uh, you know, when it comes down to it, are you going to be able to maybe criticize Nick Saban if it's worth if it's worth criticizing him? Are you ready to do that, Mark? You ready to roll? Listen, I'm going to call it how it is. I'm going to call it how it is. So I'm a straight shooter. I'm not going to fabricate it. And if I have to call out coach, I'll let him know. You know what I mean? I'll let him know. Mm -hmm. So that's just part of the new gig. And um, and, uh, I'm going to just call it how it is. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be truthful. And if that happens to be what happens to happen, if that happens to happen, I have to just – you know what I mean? That's what has to happen. Okay. <laughs> Good to know that. Good to know that. So what is your opinion? Is it still Georgia's world and the rest of the college football world is rent paying? Or what's your two cents on that as we uh, head through SEC Media Week right now? Well, I think Georgia's breaking in a new quarterback. I think Alabama's breaking in a new quarterback. I think Ohio State's breaking in a new quarterback. I think if you look at who is returning, mm-hmm. Michigan is returning 14 new starters. They're returning their quarterback who had a, a, a great year last year. Mm-hmm. They're returning a double-headed monster in the backfield. And I think Go Blue is kind of the early flavor. Oh, so, you're, not just, yeah. you're just saying that to say it. You don't really mean it, do you, Mark? Really? Man, I'm saying I like, I like, I like returning. You know what I mean? And they have mm-hmm. 14 returning starters from a top defense in the, in the country. And uh, an offense who was big play mm-hmm. and um, a quarterback who has big game experience and had success in big games. And, you know, what I mean, they, they're returning 14 starters, their quarterback, double headed master in the backfield. So I think they're the early favorites. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free. 